guys, I've been to Poundland. My name's Spawn and this is my channel and it's a happy place. It really is. I'm much happier now anyway. <laughs> um, if you like reviews, unboxings, hauls, try-ons, all that sort of thing, and just an awful lot of blather from me these days, then please do give me a thumbs up, click subscribe and leave a comment. So I've been out today doing uh, the shopping for us all big long list um, somebody did ask me the other day and I'm quite happy to disclose I go out and I shop for five adults and three children uh, occasionally we manage to get a home order from either Tesco's or Sainsbury's but not very often and they are our only choices where we live um, a car doesn't come here that's because we live in rural so we're thankful to have those two but it does mean it's very difficult to get hold of so then I go out and I go to various shops because various people want various things and one of my favorite shops is Poundland and it's right next door to the Iceland so <laughs> I just have to go in I'm sorry ladies I'm masked up I'm going in so let me show you what I got now they've started putting out lots of Easter things and Mother's Day things. And first up was, for a pound, this cute little hat. I mean, it's too small for me. But I'm gonna have a go at doing an Easter bonnet for um, the grandchildren, for Lara. We do quite a lot at Easter with them. We do an Easter egg hunt and, and all that sort of thing. They have the little baskets and so on. But it was an Easter bonnet, that was such a traditional thing. So I got her this. It also comes in a yellow or a blue, but I mean a pound. Even if she just wore it as a little sun hat, it's cute as heck. But to go on it, I got various bits and pieces. I'm gonna have a go, as I say, you're jazzing it up. So for a pound, I got these little flower lights. They look like little, can you see, like little daisies, but they have um, a little battery pack. There's only eight flowers. But I thought they'd look really pretty around the crown. They were a pound. I got a little box of um, chicks for a pound. I got some carrots. I couldn't resist. <laughs> Whether I'll put them on the hat, I don't know. They may go in something else that I design, but six carrots for a pound. And I also got some little grey bunnies. I hope you can see them well. But again, they were a pound. There are 12 in it. I mean, I'm not going to put 12 bunnies on one hat. We'll use them in other ways, put them on cards and things like that. But I couldn't resist. And I thought that was a good starting place to do a little Easter bonnet. As usual, I picked up a couple of things for the kids. I, I always do when I go in there. So I got for Lara this really cute sweatshirt with Bambi on. Um, it was only four pounds. It's really cute, look at that. It's got little popper details here. It is Bambi, we love anything Disney in this house, but this one's Bambi. I thought this would go really well with a little pair of jeans. It's nice and soft and fluffy inside, and it's just, yeah, just cute. And the only other bits of um, clothing I got were for the boys, matching as always, so I'll just put the one to one side. I picked up some Mickey Mouse trackies tracky bottoms tracksuit bottoms um they have mickey here and then the name mickey mouse on the side nice blue again nice and soft fluffy on the inside and they were four pounds fifty so i managed to get them in both the boys sizes and then i left the clothes alone <laughs> someone put a comment how on earth do you wear all those clothes <laughs> Trust me, at the moment I have about three wardrobes because I've gone up in size and hopefully I'm going to come back down in size. Although at the moment I'm not dieting at all, so God help where I'll end up. <laughs> During the big ice period that we have had here, the ice age, so to speak, it's gone now. So my husband said, why on earth did you get those? But they were doing a twin pack of um, ice scrapers, one yellow, one pink. They were a pound. I picked them up purely because I don't know where mine has gone. And when we had the ice, I was out there um, using an old store card. That scrapes ice really, really well. But oh my goodness, my fingers were freezing. And I couldn't seem to find these anywhere. So they had some there and I thought, I'm not going to go caught out again. They probably won't even be used this year, but they'll be ready for next year. And it makes them 50p each. I want to show you that I don't generally show you the food that I buy in there, but I couldn't resist this. 
It's Ben and Jerry's. It was reduced, not reduced. It's on special offer at the moment, the moment. at two pounds instead of the normal three pounds fifty. It's called Poppin Popcorn. Uh, Mufuria, 114 calories a portion. I don't know how big a portion size is, but it's buttery brown sugar ice cream with chocolatey popcorn chunks and sweet and salty caramel swirls. I thought it sounded amazing. I've never seen it before. It's part of their lighten up range. Um, yeah, I had to get it and try it. Sorry if I moved. I had to come put the ice cream away. I'd forgotten about it slightly and I went and did my lemonade box video before I did this one and I could feel that it was starting to feel a bit squidgy so I thought oh my goodness I better get that straight in. Anyway, oh I'm so flaky. Anyway back to the shop. Picked up for myself some more of their stickers. Normally I get them for the kids but these were really nice ones for my um, bullet journaling. They're two for a pound or 50p each I suppose. Um, I thought this was so cute. Look at this. It's got giraffes. I hope that's focusing giraffes with the glasses on and it says things like good vibes happy um relax i got that one because it is so me makeup and clothing and all that sort of thing i got this one because it's kind of goofy it's glitter fairies <laughs> and sometimes you feel like the need of a glitter fairy don't you and then this one because well it's a sloth it's a sloth 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 it's a sloth <laughs> i think it's gorgeous so I'll be using those in my bullet journals. I was really impressed with this. It cost me three pounds. Now it's a proper base to it, proper stone or, I don't know, what would you call that, cement? I don't know. Base, it's been treated so it looks like it's got little stones in it and then it's got this very pretty orchid. I thought for three pounds that was marvellous. Now I actually have a real orchid that's this sort of colours and it it really does so look like it and I do love a splash of hot pink around the place. For a pound I picked up some dinosaur sprinkles as you know daughter baking kids helping um, it's all shades of green and glitter and so on and it does have little dinosaurs inside so they'll have fun with those. As I say they've got their Mother's Day things in and they're some of them are nice some of them i didn't need it's difficult because i'd like to bring them all home to show you but i don't want to do that equally but i got a really nice mother's day card fortunately my mother doesn't watch me on here um it only cost me a pound which i think is great it says to a special mum you make everything better happy mother's day with lots of love and it's got two little bunnies and <clears throat> i have a lot of issues with things like valentine's day and mother's day i love the sentiment but i don't know why we need a day for it I mean, part of the shopping today, I went round all the different shops and one of them I had to go to was Marks and Spencers. I have my mum's shopping list, I have my daughter's shopping list, I have my shopping list. And my mum is always very careful and canny with her money. So I happened to see that they had their Duck à l'Orange that they do, my mother loves Duck à l'Orange. And, but she won't buy it because it's I think £6.50 or something. And she says, I'm not spending £6.50 on it. So I pick it up and give it to her. and. I don't obviously don't charge it for it, I pay for it. But that's what Mother's Day should be, isn't it? It should be, we should be doing it all the time in tiny ways, not on a day they tell us to. But I know if I don't, she'll be hurt. So I got her a card and I also picked her up a mug. Again, a pound. Um, it says, Mother like no other on, on it. And I just thought that was really cute and at least it's a mug. I, oh, I know, as I say, I am very conflicted about these sorts of days. But yeah, mother like no other. And they had them with lots of um, sayings on them, with three or four different versions. Um, they also had really nice cups and saucers. My mother doesn't use a cup and saucer, so it would just be a bit of clutter for her to clean up. Um, they had quite a lot of um, things in the way of um, bath treats and so on. So their Mother's Day selection is definitely growing and is very good, as is the Easter one. And I just noticed something in there that I also got for the hat. And that was these nests. <laughs> um, again, a pound for six. I thought they were really cute. I'm probably only going to put one on the hat, but the kids will use these to make decorations and so on that they'll put around their house. So, yeah. Bought my two favourite things. Two boxes. Can't get them anywhere else. Two boxes of the Cadbury Brunch Bar with peanuts. 
I love it. I haven't bought it for a while. I've been trying to be good and failing miserably. So I gave in and I got two boxes. And I also got, and I thought this was great because this might slow me down a little bit. I got two of these small boxes of Ferrero Rocher. The two together add up to the same size as one of the, you know, the fancy boxes, but it's actually a pound cheaper. I got some of the paper stem cotton buds. Um, my hubby, I cannot break him of the habit of using them in his ears. I just, oh, I play hell about it, but he still does it. But I use them for makeup as well. And I love the fact that these are now cotton stems, so they're completely biodegradable. Um, so again, a pound. People are gonna say I'm mad, but I bought three of these because I couldn't make up my mind. They are the most beautiful luster rabbit. If you know me, you know that there are certain things I love. I love animal type things. So I have a lot of stags around and deers around. I have ducks. I have, I'm trying to think, oh, squirrels. But I have a particular love of rabbits and hares. And I saw these and I loved them. Obviously they're for Easter. They were a pound each. They come in other colors as well, but these three were my favorite. And I did think that if after Easter, I decided I still wanted one of them up, but the colours are wrong, they can be spray painted. There's lots I can do with them. And while they were there, trust me, I was getting them. In the past, I've looked at things, thought, oh, I'd really like that, but I'm only gonna get one. And you go back to get another one, you can't. That is the nature of Poundland. So I got three. They're gonna be a little grouping on a table. I love them. Get in there now, ladies. Down to the last few things. I got some more of the Gaviscon strawberry. Somebody said, no, it's not normal fawn. You shouldn't always have an upset stomach. Trust me, this household, we do. Both my mother and my eldest daughter have had to have their gallbladders removed because theirs became so bad. I am still fighting that off. I know it will probably be in my future. There must be some sort of weakness. My daughter actually had to have hers removed when she was 19, which is really early for gallbladder surgery. Um, but there is just some sort of weakness there. So it is really normal for us, um, but probably not normal for others. So it's the strawberry Gaviscon, which I quite like. Well, as much as you can like anything like that. I wanted more of my amazing nails. Can you see these? Two weeks now. Love them. And they're just about going out now. You know, they're just about, they're gonna go, but I'm gonna have to stop again, but they didn't have any. So I've got a packet of these ones, which are just right. Um, they are very long, so I'm going to be cutting them down to size because I think that is a lot of the secret of these lasting, is that because they're not too long, they're not under stress too much. But I'm gonna give them a go and see if they're any good. And they're quite a nice, can you see, quite a nice sort of neutral color. I'll give them a whirl for a pound. Some more sweeties, but these are not for humans, even though they are intended for humans sugar-free polos i get polos sugar-free polos for the horses the horses love a polo but you shouldn't give horses too much sugar they're going to be like they're going what but honestly and while i'm at it can i just say something and i oh and i hope i don't upset anybody people very sweetly like to feed horses that they see in fields and horses are pigs they will eat anything they will eat anything you give them but can I ask that you don't? Just a little plea for horse owners everywhere and donkey owners. If you want to give them something, pull up some grass, find some nice green grass. They like a bit of green grass. Please don't give them other things because quite often horses have got strange things wrong with them and you can't see it. There's no way of knowing it. Only the owner would know. And it means that they can't eat or have certain things. And then of course, somebody really sweetly while out on a walk thinks, oh yeah, I'm gonna give them my biscuit or a bit of my sandwich or something. And it can set off things in the horses. So um, I don't wanna spoil anyone's fun. And I love the fact that we have people, there is actually a, a path that goes down the one side. And when the horses are in a particular field here, um, people walking by quite often pet the horses and I love it and I love that the horses love it but I do always say to people please just give them grass nature intended them to eat grass give them grass um, but mine can have I'm saying mine all except for one of mine can have sugar-free polos so we get them when we're working with them when we're asking a bit much of them maybe doing their feet or you know something that they're just sort of 
Then we give them some polos, but always sugar free. And last but not least, I picked up one of these. I think this is so nice, ladies. It's a little wooden stand. It's nothing fancy, you know. In fact, it comes apart. I might put glue on it to make it a little bit safer because I'm not very good with things like this. I can be very cat candid, but I'm just, ooh, I'm in trouble putting it back together. And then a really pretty, I think, china plant pot in one of my favourite colours, teal. You know how I feel about these colours, teal, hot pink, and it just sits. So I'm probably going to spray the legs or paint the legs. I would prefer them not to be this sort of blonde wood. I'd probably go black, maybe gold. But how pretty is that pot? Even if you didn't want the wooden thing. For three pounds, I think that's a really good buy. Obviously, I'm not gonna put this in it, but I just wanna give you a feel. Look how pretty. It's actually gonna have a real plant in it, but I was really impressed with that. Again, I'm, I'm questioning myself now whether I should have bought more than one. They also have one that has, um, rather than a wooden frame, it has a black metal frame and it has like a copper um, pot on the top. It was too tall for what I wanted it for, but it was really nice. I was a bit sort of aggrieved that it was too tall, but I just think that is lovely. I've got three pounds. So there we go. That was me, that was my latest pan. And as I say, guys, if you're gonna do anything for Easter, if you're looking for Mother's Day things, they're all in now. And I was chatting to one of the guys in there, one of the workers in there, um, and they're just beginning to bring their garden things in. He said, as of next week for my store, um, they will be doing a proper big gardening display. And I already noticed a few bits and pieces that I might have bought today, but I already had quite a lot. Um, and I'd rather go and do a garden one um, when everything is in so that I can get all the bits and pieces and sort of try and make them coordinate. So, um, yeah, it's definitely worth the trip to. So that was me. It's the last video for the day. As you can see, I'm <laughs> back to my smiley self. <laughs> and I hope you all take care and I'll see you really, really soon. Bye, guys.